Now, are you ready to rock a mech suit? Ready to find out what exactly is at the heart of Dimos? Because it's dropping on PC today. It's also set to drop on Xbox, on PlayStation 4, with Switch hopefully getting it later this week. So almost no waiting between each of the consoles. Now, let's have a quick look at everything we know is coming with this update. Oh, and there is also a Twitch drop campaign running throughout the Dimos launch. Just make sure that your Twitch account and your Warframe account are linked. If it doesn't work, then try and relinking them. Link to my Twitch channel is in the description of this video. If you want to hang out and chill during today's launch while getting your hands on some of that free stuff. In fact, I'm probably live right now. So what's coming with this update that we know about, right? Because there might be some hidden items. First of all, let's take a look at some of the new stuff that we didn't know about, right? Like these weapons, a set of infested claws called the Caratinos Blades, which boasts an increased heavy attack range, which scales and increases off your combo counter. Then we have the infested pistol called the Zymos Pistol, which is a spore scattering pistol, apparently. Headshots burrow into your enemies and explode. Kills from those headshots then send out more spores, which seek out more enemies to explode as well. So it can be a good chain reaction weapon. Then we have this big chunky looking Trunma rifle. I mean, look at the size of it. Apparently it saps your enemy's essence. The same with this pistol, the Sepulacrum pistol, which fills its chambers with your enemy's vital essence which I guess means it kind of sucks in their essence and uses it as their ammunition. So these weapons are going to be very interesting to see exactly how they work. Then there is another weapon we know about called the Cortege, which is apparently a necromech weapon where its primary fire siphons enemy life essence and uses it as a devastating flamethrower where its alt fire shoots out three projectiles and a fan which explode leaving an area of damage where they hit. So some pretty big entrati looking weapons that we probably get from reputation of some kind or else from a quest. We have the new infested open world called Cambian Drift complete with the entrati, mother to give you quests and bounties, other family members to awaken, Lloyd and Otak to probably annoy us along the way, new infested enemy types and secrets to find no doubt, fishing, mining, drive by, infested K-drive action and possibly some kind of open world boss like there is in the plains and or Valis and probably plenty of new resources for you to grind as well. We have our broken warframe called Zaku. They are dropping with this update with the weapon stealing ability and of course Ultron looking ultimate where you run around as a kind of skeleton after shedding all of your armor. There is his alt helmet, his personal Cyandana and apparently another new weapon called the Quasis Fan. Quasis, I think that's right. We also have the new helmet system arriving today, which will allow us to feed a frame to the walnut while also giving us a whole list of brand new abilities that you can use to change your Warframe's playstyle. It is a type of syndicate, so you're going to have to level your walnut up, which means also farming a whole load of resources because that is what you feed it at the same time. We have the long awaited new player experience available with this update. Remember that trailer from last year, right? Tanocon last year. Was that last year, was it, or was it the year before? That's finally a thing, right? The new player experience. You're going to be able to tame new infested companions like the infested Kavat and probably Kubros that we've seen at Tenocon this year. They mentioned tranquilizing one of them if it became injured and bringing it back to mother for it to become one of your companions. Then we have the Necromex, our big new power moment weapons or augmented items. No kit guns this time, just big ass mech suits for your Tenno to jump into and there is going to be different build variations as well. Then there is the Hydride Deluxe Skin Bundle, but it's Hydride, right? Who cares? It's Hydride, right? It does look bloody amazing. As, as painful as that is for me to say, it does look bloody amazing. Same with the Spear Skin and of course the Jellyfish Sentinel Skin as well. That's pretty much it. That's everything that we know about with this update. There will probably be some hidden items or something else that we have to find out along the way while I guess unlocking everything. There is a few bundle packs that you can purchase I think in the store for weapon skins and things like that. Enjoy the update, have a great day whatever time it drops out. Make sure your accounts are linked if you're looking to get your hands on some of those free items. Hopefully I'll catch you on Twitch to chill out and as always, thanks for watching.